Right then, let's talk about Lissandro Martinez. Uh, what a season he's had. Uh, after coming in to just ridicule almost at the start of the season, five foot nine centre arms aren't going to be able to cut it. I mean, every single person that doesn't like United was queuing up to have a go at him at the start of the season, weren't they? And uh, they couldn't really be found towards the back end of the season. Uh, I would say Martin has been an absolute inspiration um, to the point where his height needs completely disregarding because it almost cheapens the praise to a certain degree. He's just an outright top, top footballer uh, with a great attitude to boot. He hasn't just come into a league and, and got by. Um, he came to a completely disjointed, uh, unstable defence and was argue, arguably the best centre-half in the whole of the league. I got no qualms in saying that uh, whatsoever. He left Ajax as their player of the year, so the pedigree was there, um, and I think he's actually surpassed the expectations that people had of him. So the impact that he's having is the complete opposite um, of what the prototype Premier League defender is meant to be. Uh, it, it's, you know, it's, it's commendable, and he deserves the credit that he's going to get for that. Number two, um, I think he was the spark um, for a noticeable culture change within the dressing room, especially once he'd started to settle in and felt comfortable enough to start throwing his weight around a little bit. Seems to be very much at the centrepiece of togetherness. Looks like a bit of a rascal, seeing like the absolute session that he went on after winning the World Cup. There's a little bit of a rascal in him, and I, and I like that. It's character. I, I'd rather have that than Mr. I've Never Read a Book in Michael Owen. Um, he is a small man with a huge character, and I think it resonates with his teammates. The culture, the ethos, and even a bit of rascal has been missing from this United. So it's character, in it, at the end of the day. He's an absolute born winner, um, and I think he would fight for any single person on this team, and I, I think that, that that matters. Number three. Uh, he is quality. He is a top-class footballer, really unle unreal player. He's in the top five percentile for uh, dribblers tackled, tackles completed, blocks. The guy's a wall. Uh, not going to be a little wall, but it is a wall. Um, on the ball, he absolutely transforms our build-up play. I think one of the things noticeable is Luke Shaw did really well filling in from a defensive point of view at centre-half, but we missed that sort of line-breaking pass from centre half that Martinez is good at, and I think we also miss Luke Shaw's ability um, pushing forward with the ball at left back when Luke Shaw played there. So we almost got hit with a bit of a double whammy. Luke Shaw doesn't have the same passing style uh, as Martinez in that position, and obviously you lose Luke Shaw's quality when he's moved inside. Defensive instinct and anticipation is just quite frankly ridiculous. He'll throw himself in front of stuff. He's he's great in the air. For someone that's so small, he's got a very clever, be interesting to see if anyone picks up on this this season, very clever way of just getting the webbing of his fingers out and, or in his, between his, his thumb and his fingers and just sticking it on someone's hip just at the right time as they jump and then winning a free header. If you see how many duels he ends up winning as free headers, that's positioning and that's reading and that's cleverness. That's not him just rah, steaming his way in there and getting his head on stuff. He's very aggressive and committed uh, and he's just an all-round monster of a defender. Number four, fan favourite. Uh, and it was that game, uh, was it Viacano at home? The first time I seen him and I was like, yeah, fan favourite. Cult hero written all over this guy. The way he plays reverberates with the fan base. His passion, the committed nature... Makes him extremely, and again, that rascal, makes him extremely likable. It's the sort of player that you'd want to be uh, going to war with. Um, and he's delivered on that cult hero status inside a year. We've already we've already seen him elevated from new signing to cult hero inside of a year. There's people talking about him being captain. Um, you know, he deserves all the accolades he can get. And number five, let's go back on that point. Is he a future captain? He probably won't get it because I think there's others around him that probably end up getting it ahead of him, but that's not a bad thing. I think uh, a winning Manchester United side, some of the greatest sides that we've seen, they had five, six captains. 
in the team. I don't think it's a problem to have multiple captains within a team. We hope he's the same post injury. I, I think he will be, but you know, you never know. He will be vital to whatever the system ends up evolving in its final form that Ten Hag's trying to implement. I think it'd be interesting how he's viewed being the sort of opposite of what a Premier League centre centre half was meant to be, height wise especially. I wonder if there's going to be more signings in the Martinez mould after seeing how successful Martinez was as a centre-half in England. He has the potential to be first choice Manchester United centre-half for the next five or six seasons without skipping a beat. Um, and there is a hell of a lot of issues in this team still. From goalkeeper to depth at centre-half to quality within midfield, to who the hell's going to wear the number nine next year, all of those things. But Lissandro Martinez isn't an issue that we have to even think about this season. He will be there, and he will be one of the first names on the team sheet, if not the first name on the team sheet, come to start the new season. I fucking love him. Let me know if you do in the comments. See you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.